Now, part of me still cannot believe that we are on our way to get ready for Teresa and Ethan's engagement party. Mm -hmm. I mean, what are the odds of two people from two totally different worlds meeting and falling in love like that? It's kind of like a real life fairy tale, don't you think? You know, there was a time when I didn't really believe in fairy tales, you know? Dreams coming true, all that. But now, I don't know. Maybe I do. What about you? Look, don't worry about leaving me at home alone. I'll be just fine. You have to go to Teresa and Ethan's engagement party. It's her big night. And she's going to be really disappointed if she can't share it with you. So just go. Right, and what will the Cranes think if Teresa's own brother pulls a no-show? Say adios and vamos, Miguel. You have to get out of the way so I can get charity out of the way. Forever. <laughs> Thank you so much for agreeing to go to Teresa and Ethan's engagement party. I know how much you don't like the Cranes, especially Ethan. How could I refuse the woman who's going to have my baby? Yeah, and I'm not sure, but I think it's a boy. I think Noah would love to have a brother. But the most important thing is that you and the baby are healthy. Um, we're fine. Righty? Oh, so far so good. <laughs> well, you know what? That calls for celebration. I have a bottle of champagne in the fridge that was left over from New Year's Eve. <laughs> hey, no champagne for me. That's right because we have to think about the little baby. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'll get some champagne and some juice from uh, uh, Grace, you know, maybe you should take it easy. Oh, don't be silly. Besides, Eve and TC gave us some beautiful new glasses, and as much as I love you... I am a bull in a china shop, <laughs> <laughs> I know. I mean, do you think Grace is all right? I mean, uh, I'm pregnant. Oh, so far everything's fine. But as with any woman in her age group, pregnancy comes with risk. So Grace has to be kept calm and relaxed. If she could suffer serious complications, even lose the baby if something happened to shock her. Yeah. I found out that Sam Bennett's coming to Ethan's engagement party. Which means he's probably bringing his wife. Find out whatever you can about Mrs. Bennett. See if she knows that her husband and Ivy Crane had an affair and that Ethan's their bastard son. Or if this is gonna give Mrs. Bennett the shock of her life. about bang for your buck. <laughs> Throwing an engagement party for Ethan and Teresa is my best idea yet. What if the plan doesn't work, Mother? Oh, but it will. Look, before long, an earthquake of epic proportion is going to rock the very foundation of the Crane Empire. And then the whole world is going to know that Ethan is not a Crane at all, but Ivy and Sam Bennett's son. It's going to be so awful for Ethan. Hey, Teresa. Look, I, I know you're disappointed Miguel can't come to the party tonight, but it's just one party. There'll be plenty of times your family can be with us. You're right. We have a lifetime to be with people we care about. Now that we're together, nothing can come between us. <laughs> of the one who could sing so sweet and I would fly on the wings of the bird I knew you would take me high as breathe in, breathe out you keep me alive you are the fire burning inside of me you are my passion for life Miguel's love for charity is a protective shield around her, as long as he's close to her. That's why I've got to get Pretty Boy to go to his sister's do, so I can do in charity while he's out of range. 
<laughs> Go to the party for a while, then come home and just tell me about it. Nothing bad's gonna happen to me while you're gone. Miguel, it'll give you a chance to make Teresa happy. You'll get to know Ethan better. I, I still worry about leaving Charity alone. I mean, you've been through so much. You know, uh, the ravens attacking the house, the blood dripping from the walls, that nightmare you had about being pulled down into hell. Charlie, what's wrong? I don't mean to worry you, Sam. It's just, well, none of us ever thought that Grace would get pregnant again, and now that she is, she's got to stay calm for both her sake and the baby's. The less excitement, the better. Maybe I shouldn't take her to the party after all. Sam, you heard her. She says she wants to go. I know. God, and I hate to disappoint her. I just hope that Ivy doesn't try rekindling our relationship, all right? Because if she does, and Grace sees it, yeah, we all know how shameless Ivy can be when it comes to throwing herself at you. But guys, I think tonight will be different. How so? First of all, there's going to be so many people around that, that she won't have the chance to do anything without being seen. Well, TC does have a point. I mean, despite what we think of Ivy, she loves Ethan more than her own life, so... Being it's his big night, I doubt that she's going to do anything that could potentially humiliate or embarrass Ethan. Yeah, maybe you're right. I just hate never telling Grace about my past with Ivy. Look, I'm a cop. I know from experience no secret ever stays hidden forever. Sooner or later, the truth comes out. Sam, I hope you aren't thinking of telling Grace about your past with Ivy. Look, as much as I hate keeping a secret, I mean, I can't tell Grace now that she's pregnant. Talk about shock. No, Grace can't, under any circumstances, learn the truth. Mother, I'm afraid of what learning the truth might do to Ethan. He'll be devastated to know he's not a real crane. Gwen, I am sorry that Ethan is gonna be hurt to find out that he's Sam and Ivy's love child. Oh, I am, really. But you know what? I heard our cook say once that you cannot make an omelet without breaking a few eggs. Who would have thought a servant could be so profound? And besides, there is absolutely nothing you can do to prevent the truth from coming out now. See, when Teresa emailed her engagement announcement to the media, I secretly emailed a copy of Ivy's never-sent letter to Sam telling him that Ethan is his son to the sleaziest tabloids in the world. And when those tabloids try to trace things, it'll lead them right back to Teresa, not to us. No, we are above suspicion. Not only have we accepted Ethan's engagement to the little gutter snipe, we are throwing them this fabulous party. And when Ethan finds out that Teresa has known the truth all along and kept it from him, he is going to dump her like bad guacamole and realize how much he loves you. I hope that would happen, but now I'm not so sure it's a given. How can it not be? Oh, the revelation to Ethan that he is not a crane is going to stagger him. Where else is he going to fall but into your arms? Teresa's. He could still marry her. I've got to make a hair appointment. Oh, and now it's too late, and your mother sent all those beautiful gowns for me to try Teresa, on. calm down. Calm down, but how I'm going to look awful no matter what I wear, and I want you to be proud of me tonight. Teresa, you always make me proud, even if you were bald and dressed in rags. Ethan, I'm, I'm serious. No, Teresa, don't worry. You'll be the most beautiful woman at the party tonight. Well, how? I mean, I, I don't have time to Teresa, figure it out. Teresa, go inside. You'll see. Hi. <laughs> you must be Teresa. Yes, but are you ready for your makeover? Mm -hmm. for you. you did all of this for me. I really do feel like Cinderella before the ball.
So you think someday some dude on a horse is gonna come along and carry you off into the sunset? You know, that sounds, sounds really nice. But I don't think it's gonna happen. Why not? I'm not a dreamer like Teresa is, okay? Mom and Dad taught Simone and me to believe that you have to work hard for everything that you want in life. So no guy on a horse is gonna...